Wow, that is mm. a backup. Ooh, you don't like to see that. And we're already seeing power outages from the last round of sleet and freezing rain, especially in northern Arkansas. But crews from the electric co-ops are on standby for whatever happens later today. We are joined this morning by Rob Rodell with the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. So what impacts are we seeing already this morning, Rob? Sure, yeah, already this morning we were up to about 2,700 outages primarily in the eastern Arkansas near, uh, it's actually in Woodruff County, is where the brunt of the outages are at this time. That's actually dropped down to 2,500 uh, as, I've, as I've been watching the map since five o'clock this morning. So we're, we're out there already uh, getting the lights back on for people the best we can. And we're just hoping for the, preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best as we always do in these situations. <laughs> yeah, Rob, this is Karen Fuller. We understand, you know, last week your crews had to respond and here they are again. Are they rested and ready? I mean, these guys work 24 seven. Tell us about how your crew is doing. So Karen, basically what these crews do that we got the last member back on Saturday morning. Um, so now we're at it again. Fortunately, this is in a different part of the state. And what we do at the co-ops in the event of an outage, we will pull crews in from different parts of the state that aren't impacted to assist with outages. So some of the men and women that were assisting in Northwest Arkansas, they will now have guests from the co-ops they assisted last week to assist them with power restoration in the event that that occurs. Mm, Rob, obviously this one is a little bit unique. It's had multiple rounds we're getting ready for. Mm -hmm. How concerned are you guys for the next storm? We're always concerned with any storm. Um, when you have freezing rain and ice, that's pretty much Rob Rodell's worst nightmare <laughs> with regards to power outages. Um, as, as you have said already, I believe on the air, the weight of that ice on those lines can cause the poles to snap or cause trees to fall over, which, which is a nightmare for electric co-ops and other utilities. Well, I know it's been a lot. I know it's going to be a lot. Again, you guys continue to work hard too this morning. Any precautions you need folks to just be aware of? I know we can't say it enough this morning. Just a heads up. Be ready for this thing. Absolutely. One thing we always say is if, if their line is down on the ground, don't touch it. Call mm. your local co-op. Um, you can't be sure if it's live or dead or not. But we sure certainly would want to we would not want to have a tragedy during a storm like this. And just remember, be patient if there are outages. I promise our guys and women want the power back on just as much as you do. Absolutely, Rob, we are ready to roll. I wish we had more time to talk to you. I'd ask you how you think our Red Wolves are going to do next fall, but <laughs> we'll leave that for another time, my friend. Another time. <laughs> I think you got your answer. There you go. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Rob. Good chatting with you. Best of luck for all the folks out there in the co-ops. Thank you guys for what you do.